Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, I have some awesome new finds in this set. Um, I think again, thanks to Christina's Art Corner. I don't know what it's been lately about her videos in particular, but she's finding like some really good books. And I like, she's really enabling me lately. So <laughs> her and Tammy, man. Um, of course, I, I am like, a strong wind could enable me, like push me over right now and be like, oh, now let's go order some books. You're exhausted. That's, that's the fun thing to do. So, okay. So we're going to start off with these two books. Um, these are called the Cat 22 coloring books. Um, I had never seen these before. And this is what I love is when I find some really adorable, unique new maybe not new who knows but um well these say 2022 20, so i'm assuming these were from last year no it says copyright 2023 it's because it's 22 cats in it so there is um this is a series so we have book one and book two couldn't couldn't resist getting them both 22 adorable fur babies that remind us why we can't live with them but we sure can't live without them very cute and uh, I was seeing the back cover on some of hers, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's by Sugar Sweet. So we'll do the first one here. And my other stuff's still in the way. So each of these are um every cat possesses these four elements this is cute hang on discover my artwork locate the book on amazon yeah okay every cat possesses these four elements nature love darknessness darknessness Invisible thing that dwells deep within every cat every born ever born it usually follows the release of love and usually ends up with you wearing a band-aid or cleaning up a broken vase. <laughs> Spirit, it's what separates the sane from the insane. That's cute. Alright, so each of these they have their name and they have a little story. And uh this kind of makes me think a little bit of um Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors because she always talks about all her pages have a story and so all these kind of have their own little story and this first one I I saw this one and I immediately like immediately just added these to the cart like there was no hesitation I thought this one was so cute he saw a little bee and thought if it stings me I might get superpowers sort of like Spider-Man but 24 hours later he just looked funny and was really craving honey like, that's just hilarious. <laughs> to look at her, you would think she had fallen madly in love. But no, it was just beating her old score in Tetris. Oh my gosh. These little excerpts are everything. So these aren't super complicated pictures. But that's okay. They do have a little bit of shading with them, which I like. I like that the names are written in all different little uh, fonts. These are so cute. Oh, well, that one's sad. Okay, I wasn't expecting to feel the feels today. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh, Man, I, I'm feeling it right now, my dude. You and me both. Some of these are hilarious, and then some of these are like, whoa, that's pretty deep. <laughs> Evil Beans LaRue. She became a legend, and when her story reached the town, she was a six-legged, flesh-eating man-killer. <laughs> what is 
happening there? Love is just one of those things that monster can't seem to stomach. Aww. He's just one of those who will continue to be lovesick. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are like, these go a lot deeper than I thought they would. I thought they were just like lighthearted, but like some of these are really, like this one right here. He could be the most dangerous and unique killing machine on the planet. Unfortunately for him, no one has bothered to tell him this. <laughs> so instead, he's a big scaredy cat that'll never be seen. And that's a big error right there. Diablo. I, when I say he practices dark magic, I mean he stands there with his hand out, staring at an old candle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the feelings right now, y'all. So cute. So it looks like she's got some other type books as well that I'll definitely have to check out. Or he or she. Deserted cats. That's cute. Like if you want to swatch in the back. So yeah. And I love that there are finished pages on the back because that helps me. It helps inspire me looking at these. Anyway, very unique little book. Like, I didn't expect to go on a feelings trip today. <laughs> well, I mean, I did, but not not to this level. Um, so I've got the second one in the series as well. And so we have more cats. Binky, all. It sleeps. It will grow up to be a little menace. It will grow to be adorable. It will cause havoc, draw smiles, and bring tears. But for now, it sleeps. <laughs> Leroy, when he was before he came into this world. She will give you physical contact. Lots and lots of contact. Then you'll need a band-aid to help with that physical contact. Oh my gosh. The time to dream is meow. <sighs> the cat buns. Did not anticipate some of these to give the feels. To him, everything with a heartbeat is his prey, and he is feared. He tells himself this every day between snuggles. Oh my gosh. Another Leroy. Her mother was a bat and her father a cat. Don't ask how. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I needed this laugh. I needed this laugh so bad. And then some of these, like... Very clever. These are just very clever. She said no. Aw, poor Chunk.
Mm, some of these are rather sinister. <laughs> Schrodinger. He is on a box. He is not under the box, next to the box, or inside the box. If you look, you can see him right there sleeping on the box. Also, it's probably best if we never open that box. <laughs> oh, I gotta show my husband that one. Aww. Don't let his adorable face fool you. Possession runs deep in his family. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I definitely, because I'm seeing some of this other art, and it really looks fantastic. Also on Etsy, huh? Well, yeah, so I am pretty stoked to find a new-to-me type artist. So I'm going to have to go check out their other stuff, which right now is pretty dangerous for me. Oh, that's such a pretty picture. My gosh. I love that one with the blue hearts. I'm probably going to try to replicate some of these pictures, honestly. Because they're just beautifully done. So yeah, new to me artists. I'm definitely going to be checking out their stuff. Again, probably not the best time for me to be looking at anything. <laughs> <laughs> that I could potentially buy right now but they are still like insanely cute so I I'm happy I got those and they're not like I said overly complicated pictures but they just I don't know with that text they feel like I don't know like I want to put some thought in those so I hemmed and hawed on this one for a while because I do love me some birds and I <laughs> To this day, I have all these mythographic books and I've still not colored in one. But I just, I kept seeing the pictures and I love burbs. Love the burbs. So I couldn't resist. This is Mythographic Aviary from Joseph Kataming. I'm sure most of y'all have seen this one by now. Oh, why? My desk is very bright, but it looks dark for some reason. Of course, you gotta have some butterflies. Love that picture. We're going to build a nest on our hair. Oh, speaking of which, there's a cardinal out there. It's a girl. It's a girl. They're all out <laughs> the past two mornings. I, um, at night, will crack open the door on my screened in porch. Love that. Um, and let the not my cats come in and eat safely because there are neighborhood dogs that roam around because people in this area just do not care and it makes me so angry and um, of course they come and eat up all the food if it is out where they can get it and this way I wedge the door so they can't get to it and um, sometimes if I'm late um, closing the door in the morning the cats come in at night so they don't have access to the screen porch 24 7 my cats and um, I think I get really intimidated by these mythographic pictures sorry I'm kind of random today um, just because in some of them it's hard for me to tell what's what because they're like complicated this one not as much so I feel like this one's a little more, a little more, it's easier to pick out what's what, I guess. But um, I love the ones with the owls. But um, anyway, if I'm late some mornings, 
some birds out there around the bird feeder will get curious and hop in through the door on the porch. And um, most of them are smart enough to go back out. We've had a couple little finches that have done that, but they get smart enough to go back out. Well, the past two mornings, I have this one little bird. I'm not sure what he is. And yesterday, it was him and a cardinal had gotten in, a male cardinal. And I had to open the doors wide before I let my cats out and get them off the porch. Now, once I opened the doors wide enough, they were able to easily get off the porch like they knew where they were going. But it's like they couldn't figure out how to get past back in that crack. I love that picture. And this morning, that same little bird that I, I'm not sure what it is, was in was hopping around on the porch again flailing around because of course I went out there and um but as soon as I opened the door wide he banked right out once I went over there and shoot him out this week um while I'm gone my I'm just gonna have my husband put the food out on the steps at night i hate it because i know the neighborhood dogs will eat it eat a lot of it but i don't want him to have to wrestle with that every night and also run the risk of accidentally letting somebody out from the inside that's cute I like the um, opposite play here where you've got more of a steampunk bird and then like a regular bird down there. Man, it is pitiful, y'all. I've done nothing but just flip through videos today. And like, I'm already exhausted. That would be a fun one to play with with class. Like... It's just crazy how easily I get drained these days. I just don't seem to, especially on the weekends, I don't seem to do much of anything but just rest just so I can get through the week. But I did want to get these done because I don't know how I feel when I get home next Friday. So, And I hated for these to continue to stack up because I meant to flip through these this weekend and that didn't happen. So... I like the ones with the little girl in them a lot. This one, like some of the ones with the glass and the bottles I think are real interesting too. And I'm sure y'all are like, yeah, but Michelle, these are single-sided. How have you not already done one? I don't know what to tell you. I think, like I said, these feel like on another level to me. So I get intimidated and I should just, you know, start with a small section. And that one's so cute. Like that one's not bad at all. Like. I can see myself doing that one. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what is up with me. I keep collecting all these books. <sighs> like I said, be, you know, colorist, but you can also be a collector. And I'm a little bit of both right now. More collecting than I am coloring. <laughs> So I picked up the, um, as you guys know, I finished Fantasy Women by Kira Shershneva, and I love her Colors by Colors books on the premium shiny paper. And so I finished two of her books now, and so now I'm moving on to Women's World. Um, and uh, I accidentally picked up the Sun Life Drawing version, which was just regular color by number with the regular pages. And I never did send that back. So I'm probably going to be giving that one away. But I love this version with the shiny paper. So I picked this up. This has the standard palette of her other books. 
See, I'm doing good with her stuff. I'm actually <laughs> waiting and buying a new book each time. Like, I should be. Like, I should be. And again, this is going to be shiny on the camera. Sorry about that. Now, I have been using Bic Intensity with these, but what I found is that they dry out really easily and they're really hard to use in big areas. So, these don't seem to have as big areas as like the Fantasy Women books. So, I'll probably use them more in here. Um, I like using them for the smaller spaces. And right now my goal is to just use up what the ones I have. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more. Or just... I like using my Wise Brants in here too. My brush tips. For the bigger spaces. Problem is I can't... For some reason every now and then the Wise Brant markers go away. Alcohol markers. And they have their other ones. But I really love their alcohol markers. And so... I'm starting to get to where I'm using up my newest set and um, so I might be including some magic box markers in here. But these are really neat pictures. And color by color is surprisingly kind of forgiving. If I don't get the shade quite right, like especially if it's a darker shade, then it pretty much covers up the line so you would never know anyway but like even in the pages where I may have been lighter than what it had or where it's not like you can tell not really I actually have I just realized I have like her blocks books like this in this layout too that I could be coloring in but <laughs> I do have those whoops um but I like this free form. I like her people a lot. And these are just really fun to work in. Very low key. I can just grab a handful of markers and it's as long as I don't have a bunch running dry on me. And that's just, I've said before, nothing ticks me off more when coloring than my markers running out. <laughs> So I've got a couple other books. Like I said, I ordered a honking bunch of books that were on Etsy and 70 East books. A um, bunch of Japanese and Korean books. I also got this one book I've been wanting for ages and had completely forgotten about. Until I happened to see it on 70 East books. But I found it for cheaper on Etsy. I like, so looking at book depository alternatives... I like 70 East books, but their shipping is really expensive. Um, I would say check Etsy first, and then maybe even Amazon Japan. I'm going to really like this one. This might be my favorite one in the book. I have not tried Amazon Japan yet. I did set up an account. The next set of books I get, then I'll see there. But, like, I would just shop around at this point. Like, Book Depository was pretty cool because even if you paid a couple more bucks more for the book it was like free shipping to a lot of places and now since we don't have that we I feel like we're gonna have to get a little more creative um like I said Etsy's I, I've had a lot of luck with a couple different stores on Etsy's on Etsy um the 70 East book site I haven't received the books yet so we'll see but I've used them before on Etsy and always had good results so that's one of the reasons I was a bit more trusting on their site um, and, um, like I said, there's Amazon Japan, um, still need to try them. Um, then you have Lyrica for like Disney books and stuff. I've used them a couple times with not a ton of problems. It's just really hard to find books on their site. Like I much prefer when people put links because the search engine can be a little, you know, like the English to French translation can be a little difficult. Um, so yeah, you just have to get a little more creative and maybe when I get those books in and we do like an official flip through and stuff I can talk about the different ones and talk to y'all about some of the different stores I like on Etsy and stuff um so that and I'm getting two more books this next week one Tammy enabled me to buy 
it's a uh, Bob Ross color by number book um, that uh, she found at Walmart, and it looks awesome. It's like makes you think of George Tufexis, but it's not as complicated. She said it, she explained it like that, and it's spot on. Um, made by the people from Thunder Bay Press, um, which when I looked at the book, I was like, yeah, that looks real like a particular publishing company's book. And then I got Sasha and Sasha Ava's Mosaic Art Landscapes because I've been seeing so many pretty pictures coming out of that. And again, I really need to stop buying <laughs> books until I start finishing some so those two will come in I will probably do a flip through the following week I may just wait till I get a couple more books in um, before I do a flip through but we'll see every time I say I'm not buying any more books <laughs> this happens so so I'm just gonna shut my mouth <laughs> about it oh my gosh um anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, um, love all the books I've gotten recently, but I thought these two were just really clever, unique finds. Um, I'm definitely going to check out this person's art um, a little bit more. Maybe wait until I've had a little bit of rest and I'm not feeling as purchasey <laughs> as I am right now. Um, but Sunday... If things go well, I should be able to do a color in chat and just, it may not be 100% positive, but I'll try not to just, I'll save like the really hard stuff for the end or something. That way, like, if you don't want to listen to the depressing stuff, I'll try to keep that to the end of the video. Maybe we'll do that. Um, just lots happened and I guess I just. I'm in a mood to talk. I noticed that today because um, my videos have been so long. I've been in a chatty mood. Um, as far as June, so completed pictures for the month, I guess, would be around that time too. Um, I'm not going to have a ton for the month except for color by number of pictures. Um, I don't know. We may even just skip and do them in June. We'll see if I get done with this big um pencil page we might do a complete pages um june i'm hoping to have some more actual coloring videos um we do need to kick off watercolor summer which means i need to actually get into my watercolors <laughs> um i'm doing watercolor summer dang it i already had to skip foxy february we're doing watercolor summer dang it and I'm hoping to do a live stream in June because it's my five-year channel anniversary. Um, it'll be that where I hit, um, was it 2K or 3K subscribers? I can't remember. Um, I am going to do a giveaway. It's going to be a big to-do. I'm hoping it's in June, but if I can't get it together, it might be July. We'll see. But anyway, that's about it for me. I hope y'all have had a good week. As this is showing, I am probably laying on the couch or in the bed resting after a very long week. We're going to cross our fingers and hope that's what I'm doing, right? We're going to project, it's not project, manifest. We're going to manifest that for me, right? Like that my Friday will be restful and that I'll be able to rest up and have a four day weekend and at least feel a little bit more normal come that next Tuesday. So we're we're gonna yeah, let's manifest that for me. So <laughs> Lord knows I need it. Anyway guys, have a good weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.